Hello. Ah, gestures. Yes, greetings, people. I'm Lucifer Surf, and welcome back. Welcome back to Dark Souls and the adventures of Lila, the walking lump of beef jerky. I'm being harsh on her, but yeah, I, th I think she's actually, she's actually she's coming along. She is much stronger than she was uh, when, when I started. In fact, I'm currently level 46. We'll get onto that in a second. And yes, I have. You know what? Bear with me. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't concentrate with like, Andre just mashing his hammer over there. Like this, this disgusting person that he is. He just he, he just sits there and mashes his sword all day. Uh, how how can one live such debauchery? Anyway, yes, I have been. <laughs> I have been leveling, I did not- oh, come on. <laughs> I've been leveling and I've been kicking mid-air because that's what you do. That's what you do in this game, you just go around and kick mid-air because you bugger up your inputs. Incidentally, my inputs last time I said that strong attack was incredibly delayed. It turns out it was actually my battery dying, so yeah, I changed my batteries. Hopefully that won't occur in this little segment. But yes, I am back, uh, Lila is back, and we have- we have been training. Oh yes, we have been training. I've... Well, th things didn't quite go as I planned. As you notice, I'm now currently back to rocking the black leather set because... You know how last time I thought, oh, okay, I've got the Havel's Ring, and if I sort of mismatch and use the Eastern Armor with like the, the mask and black leather boots, I've now, I've now got a flighty roll. No, I don't. No, I don't. Because... Like the idiot that I was, I neglected to put this weapon's weight into the equation. Yeah. Let's have a look at this, shall we? The washing pole, currently at level 5, weighs 8 units, kilos, pounds, I don't, I don't know, but it, it weighs 8. The boulder side sword weighs 3. So the washing pole is actually over twice as heavy. So, yeah. That didn't quite work out as I planned, so I'm back to rocking the uh, the black leather set. And uh, also, I was having I was actually having doubts as to which one was actually stronger, the Uchigitana or the Washing Pole. Let's uh, ha let's have a look at this. Washing Pole currently 135 plus 73. Uchigitana same level, 135 plus 67. So the Washing Pole is actually stronger. Shut up, phone. No one asked for your input. Asshole. But, uh, yeah, so the the washing pole is technically stronger than the Uchigitana, because the Uchigitana only only scales with dexterity, while the washing pole scales with strength and dexterity. Also, I've been uh, crunching the numbers, and you notice at the bottom there, auxil aux, aux effects, auxiliary effects at the, at the bottom, just above the A equip. Yeah. That's that's bleeding 300 for the Uchigitana and bleeding 300 for the washing pole. So bleeding wise, there's practically no difference. The only difference is the washing pole is heavier and it has less durability. I've already got the weight sorted out with Howell's ring, and durability isn't really an issue if you you know repair your equipment. So yeah, I think I'll be sticking with that. And uh, yeah, even though I have now upgraded myself to level 46, I have got 20 strength, so I can actually use this thing one-handed. I've actually been using it to grind in this area. The trouble is, I can only use it two-handed. So I'm now much better two-handed than I am one-handed. So I've dropped. So, so for the time being, I have dropped the heater shield and I've picked up the grass, the grass crest shield. And uh, yeah, I've also been crunching numbers with these. Grass crest shield increases um, stamina recovery by oh what was it uh, twenty four percent I believe while the the Chloranthi ring increases it by forty seven I think that's right so yeah the Chloranthi ring much better than the grass crest shield but they do stack so I've got both also to give you a uh, a little hint as to how long it's how long it's took me to grind six levels at this level in this particular area I found another bloody boulder side sword. Uh so yeah, that took the best part of an afternoon. Wasn't too bad because you know I had a, I had an album playing in the background. I was just happily sat here singing to myself, and uh, yeah, the, the the time flew. That wasn't that wasn't a big deal. It did take about three hours, but hey, sod it. <laughs> 
I've got music to listen to. I'm I've, I'm okay with the grind. So yeah, that was a thing. I've also got a crap ton of uh, upgrade material, so I've managed to upgrade them both to level five. Also, I've been uh, first of all, I tried to do some grinding in Blight Town. I didn't get very far. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I. I got. I, I tried to. T those, those three, like, big fat giants on the way into Blight Town. I tried to kill them. Killed two of them. And the third one just came up and just mashed me into a puddle. So that didn't go very well. Luckily, one of them did drop a dung pie. Isn't that kind of him? An atrocious fecal waste material! Yay! Throw it, so throw an enemy to build up toxins, but also builds up your toxicity. Although the stench makes it difficult to carry on one's person, turning an enemy toxic inflicts high damage over a period of time. Thanks. So, yeah, if you're really that desperate, you can resort to flinging shit at people. Yeah. Also, you know, remember in um, the the Dark Root Garden, there was those like that two-headed snake lizard thing that atta attached to the tree. Yeah, apparently they dropped this, <laughs> the egg vermifuge. Oh, you're gonna love this. Removes parasitic egg from body. Just let that sink in for a second. There are parasitic eggs in this game. Oh yes, it's a bittersweet chestnut. Bittersweet, bitter sour. It's probably bittersweet as well, but <laughs> considering what you're using it for. But yeah, bitter sour chestnut removes parasitic egg from body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos, and the eggs symbolize this selfless choice. Oh, we'll get to those buggers eventually. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden, but are allowed under special circumstances. That will come in useful much later, and I am really glad. Really glad I picked it up. But for the t for the time being, I have a goal. I'm, act I'm actually, you know, <laughs> like for level 46, and I'm actually finally getting on to fighting the first boss. Yeah, I'm gonna go tackle the gargoyles. The gargoyles being the the boss of this particular area. Now, I have hinted uh, at them before, and I'm not sure how it's going to go, because I've honestly never fought them two-handed. And um, oh, hello. Do you want to maybe sod off? Yay. Now, this particular area up here, if you remember way back when, if you look through that window, that sort of archway off in the wall there, there was a channeler. This is why he's a pain in the ass and must be taken out as soon as possible, because as you're walking through here, he is literally shooting magic bolts through these windows at you. And you've probably already spotted, like, the zombie over there. There's another zombie next to him. There's another zombie there. And, uh, well, let's, let, let's have a count, shall we? One. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I've got no poise anymore. Two, three, four. I think that's... That's five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine! Ten. <laughs> now imagine trying to do that with weaker equipment while having some tit cast lightning bolts at you. Well, magic bolts at you. Yeah, he, he sort of stood here. He, he could have quite easily sniped you through there. Oh, that is fun. Oh, no it isn't. It really isn't. Before we get to the boss, I've got to, I've, I've just got to show you this guy. Yes, yes, hello. That was, that was a mistake. That wasn't a mistake, that was... That was what I intended to do. Honest. Shut up. <sighs> so yeah, this is, where, this is where you're supposed to go. You're not actually supposed to piss around in the Dark Root Garden, as I've been doing for the best part of, oh, about four episodes now? I, 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 I lose count. Well, that was an incredibly stupid thing, because that guy could have been alive. He wasn't, but... Yeah, yeah, just just get into the habit of, you know, if you see someone like like that just sat in a barrel, roll. Because you will encounter someone. Hopefully I might encounter him in this little uh, session, but yeah. You never know. Do you want 
to maybe not act like a tit and fall off cliffs. Thank you. Hello. Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Indeed you are. Please, I have duties to fulfill, and I will reward you handsomely. Well, I am certain you stand to benefit. Now, this guy is... Oh, bloody hell, his name? Uh, Lautrec the Embraced, I believe. Uh, if you look closely, uh, I'll try and try and get a better view, but his armor does actually have, like, arms wrapped around his chest as if he's being hugged by someone from behind. It's actually quite weird and probably wouldn't work well as armor, but, yeah, he is Lotric the Embraced, and he will escape regardless of what you do. Remember that mystery key I picked up and said, ooh, that's a mystery? Yep, this is what it's for. To release this idiot. Uh, could you go away? Used mystery kit, thank you. So I can actually talk to the guy? Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Oh, let me out. I'll reward you, honestly. You've let me out. Great. I'll get back to you on that. Fuck you, Lautrec. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I have just been freed. Allow me some time. Yeah. yeah. Phone! Piss off! Yeah, he will... He will emerge and eventually move to uh, Firelink. But for the time being, I have other things I need to address. Mainly, the boss. Zzz. Yep, there's two of them. It's a pain in the ass, but there's two of them. Also, item. Nameless soldier. I'm going to confess, I have been coming up here to uh, level, because as I was grinding for the boulder side sword... Oh, this that, that's, a, that's actually a boulder knight, so I came up here to kill him. And I have been so, so tempted just to pick that up and say, oh, Sorry, I didn't realise. I thought, you know, like I did with that shield. <laughs> you know, that was... That was, that was actually me thinking, Ooh, he's dropped an item. Oh shit, that's the item that's on the floor. Bollocks. Oh well. But yeah, that's souls, if you need them. At this point, not really that useful, if I'm honest. You know, Nameless Knight, I think it'll give me like 3,000. I, I think I currently need about... I don't know why I did that, because it doesn't tell me how many I need. I think I need about 12,000 to uh, upgrade. Now, if I was human, I would be able to summon a helper. Uh, namely, I think it's Solaire. His his sign will be around here somewhere. I could summon Solaire and he would help me in this boss fight. Maybe later. <laughs> I forgot that little lip was there. I thought, shit, I've just fallen off a cliff. No. Yep. Gargoyles. Somewhat of a misnomer. Because uh, if you know anything about uh, gothic architecture, you will understand that a gargoyle is actually part of the guttering system. It's where we get the term gargle from. This is not a gargoyle. The things I'm about to fight are not gargoyles. They are grotesques. A grotesque is a statue used to ward off evil spirits in holy places like churches. A gargoyle is a statue used to ward off evil spirits in holy places, but is part of the guttering system. These guys are not part of any kind of guttering system, and thus, not gargoyles. I'm being a condescending dick. Guess which one of these is real? It's the one that looks like it's going to move. Hello. That's one hell of a sturdy roof. Hi! Aren't you an ugly bastard? Fuck. Oh, this is going off well.
Now, can I cut off your tail? Yes, I can! Oh, that was easy. And also... Oh yeah, his mates arrived. Yep, move, 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 because his mate's breathing fire at me. His mate will continue to breathe fire at me. Because that's his thing! Oh! <laughs> oh, the backlash of the fire didn't heal in time. Oh well. Okay. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, that was my own stupid fault because I'm I'm I I, I didn't practice like dodging while I was while I was up there. So yeah, my dodging times were completely off. That's my fault, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I cut off his tail. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> the gargoyle tail axe. That is a strength weapon, not too bad. Let's have a look at it. A regular axe. A slice of tail of a gargoyle, a gargoyle gar guarding the Bell of Awakening in the Undead Church, or patrolling in Anno Londo. Yes, that's a bit of a spoiler. There is actually one patrolling Anno Londo when we get there. Can be used as a bronze axe, bends dramatically during large attacks, owing to its nature as a tail. Let's have a look at that, shall we? That's. Yeah, I can actually, I can actually wield this. It also gives resistances to poison. Toxin and bleeding by the looks of it. That's nice. So yeah, this is, this is actually an, a an axe. Nothing, nothing too, too special. Let let's have a look at its strong attack. <laughs> See that? The curve. It bends as you swing it, because it's still technically alive. That is actually quite an interesting feature, but nah. That's nice and all, but uh, not really useful. Okay, bear with me, I'll get back to the boss. Take two. And bizarrely enough, he's got his tail back. Now, he won't drop another axe if I knock his tail off again, but... That's not going to stop me from trying, because his tail is actually one of his attacks. Shite. Come on down. Come on! Oh, got, give it a shield as well, fantastic! Hi. This guy doesn't actually have a tail. He does, however, have annoying as fuck breath attacks. And that's what killed me. Woot. Okay. Uh oh, oh, thank you very much. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that was incredibly easy because. I'm level 46. You are not supposed to be level 46 once you come up here. The other reason I'm level 46 is because I've been pissing about. Because, uh, as, as I've said many times before, I am used to, like, strength weapons. Or sorcery. I am not used to, uh, dex builds, even though I played a dex build in, uh, Dark Souls 3. But, uh, yeah. I was... When, when, I, when I first started this character, I was thinking, my god, I am actually really, really weak. I don't want to tackle one of the major bosses of the game while I'm this weak. I want to build myself up. And unfortunately, I built myself up to the point where that guy was a joke. The only reason he killed me the first time was because, well, like I said, I haven't been practicing my uh, my dodging skills, and that's what killed me. I wasn't... I, I stood still and healed rather than dodged out of the way. But, yeah. You know, my own fault. I can't... Can't blame me. Well, you can blame me, but, you know, suck it. Now, one thing you should be wary of. Yes, uh, you can cut off his tail, and even if you do have... Excuse me, even if you have cut off the tail, got the weapon, I still recommend cutting off that guy's tail, because one of his attacks is a tail sweep. If he doesn't have a tail, one less attack to worry about. Logic. Also, don't, be th don't go thinking you can... 
like stand over here and think, oh, I can ju I can just hide like down one of the one of these little one of these little alleyways. Oh, I'll be I'll be safe down here. No, you won't. No, you won't, because the second guy comes and breathes fire at you. Oh, look at that! You've got nowhere to run. Yeah, that's fun. So let's actually, you know, do what we're supposed to do around here. You know, the the, the quest. Do you remember the quest? You know that thing that was hinted at in like the first two episodes and hasn't been mentioned since. Yeah, that bell of that their awakening thing. Let's go ring it. Be very careful not to fall off the the ledge. I can see Sen's fortress from here. That's it over there, and uh, that's the high wall of Anno Londo, and that little tower just below my uh, stamina bar. That is the Grand Archives. We shall get there eventually. But for now... I'm gonna ring this bell. I would like to... I'd like you to uh, just point out how close Lila is to this bell. Now, if you ever heard something like Big Ben chime, you know that these things are bloody loud, so... Ringing the bell at this close proximity will just rupture... all of the eardrums. Yay. Do you notice how that did fuck all? Yeah. That's because it did fuck all. Because there's actually two bells. This is gonna be fun. You know, I want to know, I genuinely want to know how many people came down here, saw this guy and thought, ah, attack, attack, monster! Because he wasn't there when you first went up. <laughs> I bet this guy has died so many times to just frighten first-time players. Greetings. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem. I am Lucifer Seraph. No the idiot. To Yet magnanimous yeah. are the gods. Come to confess. Or to a king. We need all sinners, my dear. Okay, this is the pardoner. Oswald. Hey, Ozzy. He has items. You know, I honestly don't know what these things do. Book of the Guilty. I don't think I've ever... I've ever got that. Checklist of indic indicted players. Ah, there, this, is, this is like... Um, this is like a multiplayer thing. If someone invades you and kills you, you can come to him and say, Oh, this guy invaded me and killed me. And then that that guy is now like one of the guilty and other people can look at the book of the guilty and say, Oh, this this guy's guilty. I'm going to go invade him and kill him for a bigger reward. I think, I think that's how it works. And that's how you report. You use the, in, the indictment. I'm not going to use them. But homeward bones are always nice. I'm not going to use them. I'm not gonna buy them. Uh, what else do you have? Uh, Karmic Justice. This is a miracle. Miracle of the Black Haired Witch Velkar. Temporary auto counter versus heavy damage. For each sin, there is a punishment. And it is the task of the goddess Velka to define the sin and to mete out the punishment. G Velka is like the goddess of sin in the Dark Souls canon. Uh, she is hinted to in many games, and we the, the fan base have just wanted to know more about her. We don't know bog all about her. She, we know she is the goddess of sin. We don't even know what she looks like. Yay. Uh, Velka's talisman. That's um, that's something to cast miracles with. Medium for casting miracles of the goddess of the gods. This black tuft of hair that serves as a talisman belonging belongs to Velka, goddess of sin. It casts miracles not by drawing upon faith, but intelligence. That is actually quite bizarre. That is an in th yes, that is an intelligence-based talisman. Okay, but miracles go by miracles are powered by faith, not intelligence. So I honestly don't know how that would work. Maybe if you're a sorcerer and want to dabble in miracles, um, maybe. Okay, fair enough. 
Uh, the Bloodbite Ring, that uh, despite the dreadful rumours surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset in its ability to help prevent bleeding. One of the infamous bite rings commissioned by Sir Aster of Kareem. Aster, the tr oh, the oh, that guy's a dickhead. Oh, <laughs> we'll get to learn about him. Because, uh, yeah, that is exactly the same, just, the poison bite ring, exactly the same just as uh, poison. And uh, that that's the Ring of Sacrifice, which I believe I have talked about, but haven't actually found. Yeah, equip this, you die, you don't lose anything, but the ring breaks. There you go. Also, do you remember in, um, I, th I think it was like two episodes ago at this point, I was talking about curse and how you can't actually remove curse, but just pass it to some bugger else? This is the purging stone. It reduces curse. Ash color stone encasing a skull. Secret treasure of Arsta, the Earl of Karim. Reduces curse buildup and breaks curse. This is where it gets weird. Humans are helpless against curses, and can only redirect their influence. The Purging Stone does not dispel curses, but receives them as a surrogate. The stone itself was once a person or some other being. This stone was once a living, breathing person. The Earl of Karim, Asta, turned that poor sod into a Purging Stone for the sake of being cursed. Now, I would have thought that being turned into a stone was a curse enough, but because curse can't be dispelled, only redirected, this is one hell of a dark item, which is why I'm going to buy one. Because curse is a nightmare to get rid of. Literally, the only I think there's like only two people in the game, this guy and someone else who can actually dispel curses, and the only other way is to use one of these buggers. Yep, that's the thing. You're not getting rid of it. You're just encasing some poor innocent soul into a rock and then just throwing curse at them so they can live in t eternity in suffering cursed, just purgatory for the rest of time itself as this little stone. That is dark and weird, and I'm going to learn that gesture. Well, what is it? A quest absolution. Yeah, if I like, attack an NPC and they're hostile to me, I can come to this guy, pay him a crap ton of souls, uh, and say, and that that NPC will no longer be hostile. Doesn't bring people back from the dead, but there you go. I can also abandon my covenant. Don't need to do that. You're not welcome any time. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> Yeah. All sin is my domain. It's only human. <laughs> sins is... <laughs> oh, darkness, curses, and sins. Oh, how delightful. <laughs> portcullis. Oh, portcullis, was it? It's not a gate. No, it's a portcullis, don't you know?